Good morning, Anthea Ratton here. As you know, I'm one of the leaders of River Church Marlow, and uh, it's my great pleasure to bring to you this morning the readings or the beginnings of the readings for this week. And this week's readings begin in John chapter 11, verses 45 to 57. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. And the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation. And not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to put him to death. Jesus, therefore, no longer walked openly among the Jews, but went from there to a town called Ephraim in the region near the wilderness, and he remained there with the disciples. And now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, what do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? And now the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who knew where Jesus was should let them know so that they might arrest him. I just want to pray for you now. Father God, I just want to pray for everyone this week who is listening to this and who's going to carry on through these readings in your word, in this Gospel of John. And I want to pray, Lord Jesus, that you would help us as we dig deeper into your word to understand more and more of who you are, of the God that you reveal through Jesus. And we thank you. We thank you for these precious words. And so I will pray blessing on each one of you as you walk through this week with these readings. Amen. Thank you.